Are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? Hadn't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No. But I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do, no, or we're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. We've arrived. He's not moving. He will, eventually. I suppose he does. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? That chained him. We might give him some comfort. At least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. No, maybe there's someone inside. I guess you're expecting me?
Excuse me. Where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. I just keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. Gotta find the exit out of this place. The Seed of the Prophet. Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. Love the sinner because he is you. Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? Without sin, what grace has forgiveness? And every year, on this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Constant. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at wounded knee and not railed against the subtle beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just railed against the Sodom beneath us, but not accepted the three golden gifts of the founders, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just accepted the three golden gifts of the founders and not prayed for our deliverance, it would have been enough. If the prophet had only prayed for our deliverance and not led us to this new Eden, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just led us to the new Eden and not purged the vipers of the Orient, it would have been enough if the prophet had just per- Is it someone new? Someone from the Sodom below? Newly come to Columbia to be washed clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord? I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Hey, I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Told you, I'm not gonna do it. Go away, Mr. Dewitt. Mr. Dewitt. That idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning She granted a sword of gold so that I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. Above all to Father Franklin, a key of gold so that Eden might have industry that set her above all other nations. To Father Jefferson, a scroll so that Eden might have laws that set her above all other nations.
Our prophet fills our lungs with water, so they may better love the air. He who crossed the Delaware with flaming sword and wings of angels. Watch over me, a virtue, and a lend rebel me against ignorance and tyranny. Shield my mind, by the sword fear and doubt, and, and the scroll, scroll. So that I and the key. No luck, Amen. only providence. And that you so just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right, so got a girl to find. Something <laughs> arranged. <laughs> Perfect day for the celebration. Father Comstock must have foreseen and planned it just this way. Full transcript of the Prophet's recent address to you, the Colombian people, on the holy forgiveness of our dear lady Comstock. Our beloved mother of forgiveness! <gasps> that statue... I just think it fails to capture Father Comstock's absolute... You know, divinity. Salt stall's all right, I tell you. Says he's for faith, family, and fatherland. Who could be against all that? Never hire an artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh-huh. I told him that the park is exceedingly far behind schedule. The, the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater, for God's sake. And the marigolds are still on. And then the archangel showed a vision. A city lighter than air. I asked her, why do you show this to me, Archangel? I'm not a strong man. I'm not a righteous man. I am not a holy man. And she told me the most remarkable thing. You're right, Prophet. But if grace is within the grasp of one such as you, how can anyone else not see it in themselves? Citizen, you're looking fit. right event to attend on a day like today is serious business, you know. Can't be everywhere at once. <laughs> You'll always miss something. That's why we're going to the raffle. I have a good feeling this year. Columbia Raffle and Fair. <laughs> He's strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key of the scroll, if you get my meaning. Let's go. 
skies, warm temperatures, Hello. and light variable winds throughout the afternoon. In short, a beautiful day for the festivities, Columbia. And now, back to the music. We're coming down the street. Now I ask you very confidently, Raising money for the girls' patriotic league. One man goes into the waters of baptism, a different man comes out, born again. But who is that man who lies submerged? Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint until he is revealed unto the eyes of man. into some faint and radical on me, John. I do not want to be some character out of I Married a Box Popular, now do I? Yeah, that's where they said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence, stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. You Tess.
Well, good day to you, sir. Hello. friend. No, sir. No, ma'am. Those are vigors. You want to let me through here, pal? Hey, streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's enough TNT back there to blow Peking to kingdom come. Again. Roadblock. Better find another way around. You know our prophet is fair, you know our prophet is kind, and he has asked, personally asked Mr. Jeremiah Fink to bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be to our fair city. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir, no, ma'am. Those are vigors on top. Young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. Fine, young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. <laughs> and there's devil number one. Bucking Bronco is your answer. Those are those tales. Oh, dirty boxer at it again. See them villains zipping around, spreading their lies and dissent? Fear not. I got just secure. Grab a shotgun and go to work. You there. You got what it takes to keep our city safe? Mighty fine prize if you can keep those skylines clear. Good man. Now take aim and blast those evil box out of the sky. Hit enough and I'll get you a prize. <laughs>
Show your skill by hunting down Daisy Fitzroy and the vile members of the Vox Populi. Well, here's a brave fellow. Now, shoot the Vox when they appear, get it up, and you'll win a prize. I'll even throw in a bonus if you bag the anarchist Daisy Fitzroy. Well done, sir. What's a voxophone? Exactly that! A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. I usually wait till Fig works on the things. Hot dogs! Hot dogs! Alexander Hot Dogs! Columbia's finest! We're the advances in science. I wonder if we've seen you used one yet. Soon enough, oh think and Luke Tess will be sending folks to the moon. Ooh, Red hot something. hot dogs, Ooh. Colombian is apple pie, a patriotic is a rifle, delicious is a sweetheart's kiss. The box populi are on the loose. Who will hunt them down? Hey, you, handy with a rifle, looking to do your part for Colombia. and see the eighth wonder of the world. He's big, he's bold, he's the amazing handyman. Only in our fair city will you see such amazing feats of technological prowess. with a beloved spouse? Well, it's time to take back control from the men of metal. With possession, you are the master. You will bend any machine to your will. Give me one of those. With just a whisper, they're all ears. Sorry, pal. The 
raffle is all sold out. Entrance is reserved for dignitaries and very important personages alone. Yes, and that don't mean me. Well, if it isn't Assemblyman Buford, your spot at the raffle awaits. Don't know why I didn't recognize you before. Heads. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. Heads. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. Looks just fine to me. Mary, you are a living, walking scandal. I hear the Father Franklin machines will be taking in new stock soon. got them. If we're gonna flush the Vox out of the Skyline system, then we gotta have the best. Uh -huh. I got any openings in the group? I'd love to bust some Vox go. <laughs> It's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you were allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance.
has officially begun! Mister! Mister! Sorry, no sale. <laughs> Silly, there's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Colombia? <laughs> all right, then. The winner is number 77! Oh, what do you know? Over here! Over here! He's the winner! Number 77, come and claim your prize! First round! Are you gonna throw it, or are you taking your coffee black these days? <laughs> no, no, I'm the one you want. Oh, looks like we've got a shy one here. <laughs> we've got to do something about that. Come on, Time's That's wasting, my boy. Son of a bitch. Wait, <laughs> it's him. <laughs> now. Where'd you get that brand, boy? Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, False Shepherd? The false shepherd. And we ain't letting no False Shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys! Told you, Comstock. You sell them paradise, and the customers expect cherubs for every chore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. <laughs> well, I have a man in Georgia who leases us as many Negro convicts as you can board. Why, you can say they're simple souls in penance for rising above their station. <laughs> Whatever eases your conscience, I suppose.
What's going on? Sample. <laughs> 